Hi guys, Phil here, just going to show you something uh, slightly different with MASH today. Uh, so create a cube and I'm going to go into MASH and I'm going to create a MASH network. And then I'm going to go into distribute node um, and I'm going to change this to a grid. And then with grid selected I'm going to bring uh, X and Z up to about 25. I'm going to pull Y down to 0 and I'm going to bring Z and X all the way up here. Then I'm just going to grab X and I'm just going to left click inside there to bring it so that they're touching and the same with Z. Let's just click in there, just get that and now they're all kind of touching. Okay, and I'm just going to turn on my wireframe over shaded. So back into the mesh network and I'm going to go into the signal node and I'm going to pull down position Z and X and I'm going to change this to trigonometry. Um, I'm going to bring Y down here a little bit. I'm just going to rewind and play. So we've got stuff going on like that. And I'm going to mess around with the noise scale somewhat. Let's just uh, left click inside here until we get something that we like the look of. Something like that. Uh, let's pull down Y a bit. Rewind and play. So we've got a kind of wave going on there. Uh, and let's just mess with the noise scale again a bit. All right, so we can see zero is literally just the thing going up and down. And then small numbers are going to be small shapes and more detail. So let's just have that right down about there. Maybe something like that. That's good. That'll do. Okay, so with that like that. I'm just going to rewind and I'm going to uh, go into poly. I'm going to create a plane. I'm just going to hit R. I'm going to scale that up to about there. Bring this up over here. Go into channel box. Uh, change the subdivisions to about 50 and 50. And with the plane still selected, I'm just going to go into the effects menu, end cloth, create end cloth. Then I'm going to select the repro mesh. And yes, you've guessed it. That's going to be our passive collider. So now when I rewind and play, we get waves, which is pretty cool. Um, and then obviously anything we do with the repro mesh still, because it's still connected to the mash waiter, uh, we can change the look of that. So let's just go and do that. Just go into mash, back into the attributes. I'm going to go into the signal node and I might change the Y a bit. Uh, let's just rewind it. I'm just going to bring this end cloth object up about here so it's not intersecting at the beginning. Rewind and play. And we get some bigger waves, as you can see. So if this was smooth, it'd probably look a bit better. Um, if we had higher polys in the first place, that would help too. Uh, let's just rewind and play. Just go back to mash again, and we can just make it a lot smaller. I mean, you know, as I said, we can play around with this to our heart's content and we're not worrying about simulation time, caching, all of that kind of thing. And if we actually wanted this to be water, then we just grab the uh, repro mesh and we're just going to the shape node for it. And we just turn the render stats to don't cast shadows, don't receive shadows, primary visibility off, reflections are off. And then all we've got to worry about is this and we could just add our favorite kind of water shader to it. And it's just, add any kind of shader let's just open hype shade don't really know why i'm doing the shading bit but let's just add a v-ray mtl and i'm just going to drag and drop that onto the end cloth double click and i'm just going to go black reflective refractive um and then i'll just add some kind of oh, i don't know let's just create a v-ray dome light you could be doing this in arnold um really doesn't matter and i'll just get some kind of file going on uh something hdri ish um that's gonna look okay ish excuse me while i'm just looking in my hdri file something really quick what have we got what have we got, what have we got? um Sky Dome, low res, anything HDR-ish. Uh, let's just use that. Let that load in. 
Come on, load in, 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 load in. Obviously, we haven't got any kind of floor or whatever, but I don't know, it's just IPR that. Just to see if that's working, and um, we'll just change to V-Ray, of course. IPR that. And, yeah, got some water going on. Not bad, eh? So, yeah. Just stop that for a second. Uh, just rewind and play to show the updates, whatever. And obviously we can set the initial state of this to, to be as we want it. Um, but yeah, works, works as water, cheap water. Um, as you can see, it's, uh, it's doing the job. Alright guys, so have fun. Go forth and multiply. Cheers, bye bye.